Hey guys, Hunt101 here, here to help. Today I will be showing you guys how to set up a Hot Podge HD PVR capture card. Now this is a very easy setup. It does not take very hard to set it up, but I thought just to make a video on it. Okay, now if you see here, I have the capture card itself. Right next to the capture card is the component cables that comes with the with the HD PVR. That is be that's amazing. Then you have the software that is given to you, so you can basically record. Then you have the outlet cable, so where it can give power to the capture card. Then you have the USB cable that you will basically send from the capture card to your computer. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's get this set up and everything, so you can start recording your gameplays. When plugging in the component cables, please note what's in and out. If you do not know what's in and out, you can cause issues for the PVR to send signal and receive signal. So the in will be your Xbox 360 component cables and the out will be the HD PVR cables provided. Now plug in the HD PVR's component cables into the back of your TV. Please make sure the colors are all correct before actually powering on the PVR. Connect one side of the power cord into the PVR, then you will connect the other end to a wall jack or a splitter. Both of these are allowed, but I advise you to use a high quality splitter. Now add the USB cord into the back of your PVR and then power your PVR on. Okay guys, now I'm on my computer, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the drives in the software so you guys can start recording your gameplays. TV shows or anything. This thing can do a lot of things. Now, with the drives, I advise you to go get the updated version at HotPogs.com. Basically, you do get the drive on the CD-ROM, but it might not be up to date or anything like that. So, my best bet is for you just to go to HotPogs.com and get the updated drive. Now, to do this, all you gotta do is go to the, the website, then go to the support tab. After you click the support tab, you see a list of items. Basically, different recording applications, etc. You will just click on HD PVR. After you clicked on HD PVR, it will bring you right to the Windows drives. Now, you have different types of drives for the Hot Pods. You have for Mac and Linux and Windows. Since I'm a Windows user, I'm going to download the Windows one. Now, basically, you will get a file that will probably download onto your desktop or your downloads depending on where do you save your files out that are being downloaded. Then you're going to open the file. And here's the file right here. Now, before you actually run this program, plug in your USB. Now, if you have a smart computer, some computers automatically will recognize it because it is like a, as like a capture card. So some systems already have capture cards built in it. So it might find it automatically, but still install the drive so it can know 100% that this is what it is, this is what it is, basically. Now, once you've plugged it in, now it's time to run the software. Now, I was going to ask you to install it, so just click install. Then you will basically start installing this. When this is done, I will come back. Okay guys, now I'm back and my drive has successfully updated. Now since I've never uninstalled my drive, the first time is not going to probably say updated for y'all. It's going to just say successfully installed it, but I have updated my drives. 
So now I'm going to click in. Now you can close out all the programs for that. Now it's time to run the CD. So enter in your CD into your CD-ROM tray. Okay. Now, once you have went through the whole process of basically selecting English and everything like that, you'll be brought here to this page where you simply have installed drives. You don't have to do step one because you already installed the drives. So all you have to do is go to step two, install software. Now click the software. It's going to go through a prompt to where it's ready to start setting it up. So let this load. Okay, now you see the stuff that you can install. So the system is actually giving you options of if you want to install the scheduler for like the PVR, the um, just different software you can install. They want you they're asking you. So it's up to you, but just go through the process and everything like that. So guys, I'm gonna basically just watch this and see how I install this. It's gonna be a little fast because I don't. It's gonna take a long time for this to go through, so it's gonna be a little fast. All right, guys. Okay guys, now it is fully done installing, so let's click finish. Now it's going to be installing probably the last little parts of what it needs to install, and it's going to just say finished. Okay, so you have completed everything. Now it's probably asking you to restart your computer and everything like that, but I'm not going to, but I advise you to restart your computer once this is done. So everything could just take a process. Now let's go ahead and open up Total Media Extreme. Now this is where everything will come through where you want to record and everything like that. So you have this right here to where you're recording videos. You could basically create movies like if you want to put things on DVDs and things like that. You could make it in here. Right here if you want to watch your videos and everything like that. Because some... Some computers don't come with the maximum speed to actually support the total media stream files. So the fact is you would need to use like a special watcher. But you can use Windows Media Player for some of the watches and everything. And over here you have different tools that if you want to convert the video from like a, uh, like a MP4 to a WMV, a Windows Media Video File. You know, and you have like a Blu-ray converter basically. So where it's like you have different things here for Total Media Extreme that's basically, it's a great, great, great software and it's worth the money. Now let's go into Recorded Video. Record Video, sorry. Okay, now it's going to be searching for your source of basically your HCPVR. Once it has found it, it will come up just like this. Now you have the options to record in PlayStation 3. AVC HD and Xbox 360. The best quality is PlayStation 3. You might say why we use the PlayStation 3, but the fact is it comes off with the best quality, gives you the best everything. Now we'll be making a video later in time to show you guys the best settings for this to record it and everything like that. So guys, thank you so much for bearing with me through this video on how to how to basically set up an HD PVR and everything like that, guys. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, guys. And you guys have a nice night, day, evening, whatever, that whatever time you watch this video. Alright, guys. Help 101. Out.